to future Emily editing. We are about to go on a date. We're celebrating Emily's first week at work. We're in our new condo. And there here is beautiful Miss Emily Dawson. Let's listen to this fart. And it was silent, there you go. But deadly, ew, Austin. Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's Emily, and this is Austin, and like he said, we are doing date night tonight. We're gonna just go through the entire weekend with us, okay? We can like have a little party. So come on, get a drink, sit down, enjoy, and while you're looking at your screens right now, just smash that freaking subscribe button. Like I smashed Austin in the face right now, okay? Like do it, like slap the subscribe button. Oh. <laughs> Ew. That's <laughs> disgusting. And then you know, just pinch the subscribe button a little bit. Love on the subscribe button. Do that. Okay, let's go to dinner. Bye. This is my rainbow and from Tempura. And Austin, let's show, show them your mask right there. All right, so it's a 16 ounce steak with what looks like blue cheese. Um, not sure. And what's left of some Brussels sprouts on the side with some legendary mac and cheese. And if you know me, you know. I love steak and I love mac and cheese. But most of all, I love my fiance Emily Dawson. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. Oh, by the way, you might have realized I'm not wearing my ring. That's because... It's in the shop right now, getting resized. Alright vlog, it is the next day. We are going to go pick up my ring. If you didn't know I was getting resized. Ashin and I look so cute. Might make him take a cute picture. <laughs> Okie dokie, well that's all Austin has to say. So we're getting in our car. You can see we have a little garage. Oh yeah, also, by the way guys, we're also gonna do today from fact, Austin's dad, uh, because at Christmas time we pull everybody's name and everything like that. Back at Christmas, he got me a $50 Banana Republic gift card, and I think we're gonna try to spend that today. And no extra money. And I have a gift card to Starbucks, and I think I know a drink that would look really good on this dress, so. Okay, let's go get my ring back. I'm so excited. My hand feels naked without it on. Is that like weird to say? Like, okay. The people who like wear glasses, you know when you don't wear glasses, you're like, what is my face right now? I guess unless you're sleeping, then you don't wear the glasses. But like if you're out and about and you don't have your glasses on, you're like, my face is naked. Like, I'm, my face is naked. That's how my hand is right now. Okay, my hand is naked. When do you feel naked? When I'm naked. Okay. Guys, I got my ring back and it fits perfect. Okay guys, so, it's a lot of loud noise in the background, but basically we're in the shortcut mall and I just got my ring. Does it look so good? Yeah. It looks shiny. Yeah, it does. It looks great. It fits great. It's not coming off. So yay for that. We are going to order the Trenta pink drink from Starbucks. Like it's Starbucks is like a one minute walk. And last time I ordered it in the same exact spot and it was ready for the time we got there. So what we're going to do is we're the second we order it, we're going to press my stopwatch and my watch, walk there. I, I guarantee it'll be ready in like less than three minutes. So let me do this. Okay, just ordered. Okay, stop watch. Let's go to Starbucks. Right there. Hi. Can you grab a mobile order? Yeah, for Emily? I just did it for Tyler. Okay, cool. We just got a couple in, so it'll be just a second. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Austin, it was two minutes and six seconds. And the other day, it took 49 seconds to walk from there to here when it, and they had it ready. This is how you open a straw during COVID. What's it supposed to be? A pink drink. It kind of tastes like yogurt. Hey, it tastes like strawberry, like right? Yeah, I like it. It tastes like yogurt. Oh, you're stealing it now, huh? I mean, I don't know if you said so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cute picture that would be, dude. There you go. This drink and this dress, it like kind of matches. Right? right? Yeah. Do you want to take one? Yeah. Yes, I am still in my pajamas and it's like noon, but that's okay. We all have this day sometimes. 
But Austin and I are about to do our daily Bible study. We try to every day spend time with God. I think one of the best ways to spend time with God is try to learn um, about the Bible and His Word because that is His message and what we have from Him is the Bible. So I wanted to show you guys some really cool apps on the iPad or iPhone and like type of device that you can use. So my number one app that I like to use is called Read, uh, Read Scripture. So the idea is that it helps you get through the Bible and it's not entirely um, chronological. So right here it's Leviticus 19 through 20 and there's a psalm. So um, with every day that you read, there is one psalm, because um, there's like a hundred something psalms, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot. Um, and you're actually repeating it. So the idea of this app is for you to read the Bible in one year. If you read it every single day, 15 to 20 minutes. A lot of days have little videos beforehand, so it really helps you just understand kind of what you're reading um, and putting it into a larger perspective of Old Testament and New Testament. And the idea is that you read from the very beginning. So you start in Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, and you go through it. And sometimes they'll change the books in the Bible up so that it makes sense along the timeline because um, some books are out of time order and if you're reading the Bible for the first time and you're trying to learn about all the stories sometimes it makes more sense to read it in a chronological sense which is technically out of order um, so this app kind of puts it in the right order for you and it gives you something to read every single day but one thing that I do not like about the app and it's my only qualm with it is that there's only one version of the Bible that you can read straight from it so let's just say like today Austin and I need to read Leviticus 19 to 20 and a psalm and some days you have more to read and it looks like this when you have a video when for example I click on it and then we have to start reading, and I have my larger text, obviously. It won't be this big for anyone else. But the only version it allows you to have on here is the King James Version. So then I'll go over here to my Bible app, and I'll go to the actual Bible. And I have NLT, which is um, the New Living Translation. And then I will end up going to Leviticus, which is down here. And then I will scroll down to number 19 and Austin will take and I will take turns reading so to make it fun we do read it out loud some people like to read it to themselves and come together afterwards um, but a lot of times it's usually three chapters in one psalm but they'll divide it up so 19 and 20 I'm assuming are actually really long chapters so that's why we only have two chapters to read with a psalm so that's what we kind of do every day and like I said a lot of days there are videos so it's kind of nice and the videos are really well made so they're an animated-esque type video and the voices are really nice and they explain it really well it is really great for any denomination so if you say oh I'm a Catholic or oh I'm a Baptist any denomination you are is fine because a lot of things they do like let you those little details that do differ between the denominations you kind of can interpret it still how you want it to interpret it um, but basically the videos and everything help you guide through just to understand the stories themselves in the Bible so if you believe in the Bible then you will actually really enjoy it. You know, if you do want to start reading the Bible but you don't know where to start, you don't want to open up on page one, uh, it's a really nice thing and the videos do help guide you along. So, I definitely recommend it. I probably should get out of my PJ soon. Alright, say bye to the vlog. Say bye to the vlog! Okay, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. We're gonna make, I think the next video we're gonna make is buying a house at 22. Because, you know, I'm 22 and I'm buddy house. Woohoo. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> so I think that's another video, video. I think another video we're going to make is being engaged, living together, Q&A. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Just leave any comments. It honestly makes my day when I just read a comment. You could literally go like, bleh. And I'd be so happy that you left the comment. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We're going to have more videos. I promise. I, pr I don't know I always say that, but we really are. We're going to do better. This is fun for me. It's a creative outlet. Austin, how do I end off the vlogs? Be kind, love one another, stay happy. <laughs> Since Austin doesn't know how to ever end off the vlog, I just want to say be kind, love one another, see y'all next time. <laughs> I'm using that. <laughs>